Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm Neharika. We all love to plan our future, don't we? Now, which is the correct tense that we use when we are talking about our future plans? This is what we are going to learn in today's English lesson. So we are going to look at using the correct tense for future plans. So I have some phrases for you here on the boat. You, if you use it, yes, it's just going to be perfect. It's going to sound right. So let's first look at using the present continuous. Now, when do you use present continuous? Well, of course, when the action is happening in the present, right? But when you are talking about your future plans, which are not for sure, you're just considering them, okay? Then you use present continuous. Now, let's look at some examples. These are the phrases uh, that you would use to begin talking about your future plans that you're considering, okay? They are not settled. You're not sure that's gonna happen, okay? These are the plans that you're just considering, okay? So, let's get started. I am thinking of going to um, Australia uh, for a holiday, okay? So, you're here, you're just considering, okay? You are planning. So, I'm thinking of going to Australia for my next holiday. So you are using present continuous because you are considering a holiday to Australia. The second example or the second phrase that you can use is we are planning to go. Okay? So probably you are planning on something. So you would say we are planning to go for a movie this weekend. So weekend is in the future, right? And you're not sure, okay, it's not for sure that you're going to go for a movie or probably you'll just go to the beach or probably you'll just go shopping. So here you're just planning. So you're going to say, we are planning to go for a movie this weekend. Another one, he is hoping that he would start his new venture by next month. So probably one of your friends is starting up something okay probably a new business or some new thing and he is hoping to start it by next month so it's not sure that he's going to start the next month okay he's still considering whether i should start it now next month or maybe two months later so it's just a plan and he's just hoping to start so again you use present continuous to talk about future plans so he is hoping to start his new venture by next month and then the last phrase that you can use is i am playing with the idea of um, buying a new car for myself that's an example well i think i am doing that i really need a new car so yes again i use present continuous because here i am not sure whether i will buy a new car or no and this is how I would begin my sentence. I would say, I'm playing with the idea of buying a new car. So these are great four phrases that you can use when you are making some future plans, which are not for sure, you're just considering them. And make sure you use present continuous, okay? Now let's look at using the present perfect. Now, present perfect tense will be used when you have decided on your plans that for sure you're going to do this. So it's going to be when you have decided. And sorry, I forgot to write this. Present continuous will be when you are considering Okay, so when you are considering to do something and present perfect will be used when you have decided to do something. So let's look at the phrases that you would use. We have decided to go for a holiday to Australia next month. So you have already planned, okay, it's for sure that you guys are going to Australia. So we have decided to go to Australia. So again, this is going to happen in future, but you're using present perfect because you have already decided to do so. The next one, we have settled on uh, watching a nice movie this weekend. 
so you are sure what you're gonna do this weekend you are going for a nice movie so when you're sure you will use present perfect and this is one of the phrases that you can use we have settled on watching a nice movie this weekend another one we have opted for so again you have decided okay maybe you had some choices and now you have opted for uh, buying a red car instead of the blue so you have decided that you want the red car and not the blue one so you had two options and now you've decided so again you will use the present perfect and then the last phrase that I have for you is I have booked so I have booked um, on going for a nice trip or I have booked on buying a, a new dress for my birthday so again booked is another term that you can use instead of using decided or settled all right and again these phrases you use it only when you are sure that you're gonna do something in the future okay so these are the tenses you need to keep in mind and now let's look at some more phrases that would help you to talk about the future so here are some more alternative expressions that you can use to talk about your future plans uh, the first one i have got my heart set on a cruise next year so when you really want to do something and you want to plan something for your future this is a great expression that you can use in english you can say i've got my heart set on marrying this man very soon okay so again you really want to marry this guy okay and that's going to happen in future so use this expression another one i have been dying to go to new york for christmas so not that you're really dying but yes it's just like an exaggerated uh, way of saying i have been dying to go to new york for the christmas so this is another expression that you can use to talk about your future plan it looks like hmm, now when i meet my friends um, i'm gonna say it looks like i am gonna marry this guy so again i'm talking about future but it's a great expression to begin with okay so it's like it looks like i am going to new york for christmas okay so again you're talking about future and this is a great way to express and then the last one is i am torn between italy or france now i'm torn between italy and france it seems that yes probably you are planning for a trip either to italy or to france and you are confused so you use this expression to talk about the future or to talk about uh, planning something in future but you are confused okay so you are kind of confused you're tossing between or a great expression is i am torn between you can also use I'm tossing between Italy or France. Okay, so tossing is another word that you can use. Okay, so go ahead, use them. They are really simple. And this brings me to the end of this lesson. Hope you have no doubts about uh, what tense you need to use for talking about your future plans. And if you have any questions, just write in to us and keep watching our lessons. I'll be back soon. Till then, take care.